somebody's not going to tell me my kid can't do something just because she needs to do it in a different way than you know the next kid next to her. Essentially started when my daughter was three. We were well aware she wouldn't be able to participate in our local youth hockey program. Since we kind of knew she wouldn't be able to skate standing up, and a friend of mine at the rink asked me if we'd ever heard of sled hockey or considered it. That first year, I think we practiced every other week. We had four or five, six kids maybe. And this year, we're starting our third season. I know we have a group of 36. From going from two to pushing 40 in three years has been pretty phenomenal. All of our players, youth and adult, essentially pay nothing to participate other than providing their own travel to a practice or a game. Whether we have a kid that's four years old or 18 and wants to play competitive, make sure we can offer all of them something that is at their level of interest and keeps everyone engaged. With our increase in size, you know, it's, it's a lot of work to put on every week, but seeing the kids out there and, and the parents get to watch their kids out there, you know, that's kind of my reward out of doing everything.